he's working as a dresser in a musical show. He don't know how to sing and he can't rhyme very well, but he takes a lot of movies and he's vegan, you know. It's the vegan gay dresser. Previously on my IGTV channel. So this is the green room. Open up, open. <gasps> oh my oh, God. So this is the campus. What did you say? You think I had? Huh? Coming up. So that was a great show. Oh, I look like a sailor. Anyway, I'm not in the mood for Lars Norian. I'm not. In today's episode, how do you do, Interwebbers? Welcome. Today, on a very special episode, I'm going to see a workshop of a Sondheim workshop. Wait, no. What? Someone done a. Someone has done a workshop of Sondheim songs at a school called Stockholm Musikaliska Artist Utbildning. Something, something to do with musicals. After that, I'm going into the theatre to do some sort of sorting through costumes because we're having a cover run through on Sunday after a matinee and then in the evening today I am going to see another another show, a dress rehearsal of a Lars Norén uh, a play called Höst og Winter, I think something about spring and autumn and winter and summer and stuff people are going to yell I expect people on stage to be very rude to each other. Now That's over all. to the weather. You are Kim? Yes, thank you. It's raining. I think I do declare that autumn's hair. I'm a poet and I know it. Let's check in. Let's check in. The barber come on now. Oh, that was a great show. Oh, I look like a sailor. Uh, now it's off to to get some lunch. So I really like these kind of sort of I don't know workshops or cl open classes. I guess it's more of like an open class because they don't really. It's not something they're done and showing some you. Some people are great. Some people surprise themselves by being great, and some people surprise themselves by not being as great as they thought they were. That was really good. Now it's off to work. Oh, I'm shortening pants and shortening sleeves on jacket, which is a stitch. The covers are rehearsing for the run through on Sunday. I'm really not in the mood for that dress rehearsal later tonight, but 
I promised I would go, and these are the only, this is the only night I can go, so I have to go, but I won't do it gladly. No. Oh. It's time to go. Time to go and see a show. It's time to go and see a show. Now I'm outside the theatre. It starts in half an hour. Anyway, I'm not in the mood for Lars Norian. I'm not. So, for being such a good boy, I bought some candy for myself. This is vegan sort of licorice. They weren't really great. People who live in this house seem to keep their bikes at the theatre. And the person who works at this restaurant also came out to the theatre store with some groceries. So I, I guess they're sort of there having their cellar in there as well. So I saw this one last week. <laughs> so it just started raining. So it's over and it was really, really, really good. Really well directed and really well acted. Yeah, go see. So theatre funny, theatre's funny that way. You sort of, you're really tired, you really don't want to go. And then sometimes, sometimes not, when you go, you really feel energized afterwards. Because something has happened. Otherwise you would just go home and sit in your sofa and lie in your bed, do nothing. You've seen something, you thought something, you experienced something. And more often than not, you do not regret going. So this show was really well acted and well directed. And the reason it was so well directed or I could see that it was well directed was because the actors were sort of they knew what they were doing. The actors were in charge. They were telling the story, the parts, the story of the parts. Do you get it? It wasn't like, oh I did wrong, I did something stupid, I didn't, oh I'm supposed to do this. They weren't so, for acting. example, one of the sisters, the two sisters, one is sort of rowdy and the other one is prop. The rowdy, the rowdy one breaks a wine glass. She was first she upended it and then she sort of breaks it by mistake. And as the part, she couldn't sort of start cleaning it up. Nor could the mother, because the mother was fed up with her. But the other sister did, because she was the good sister. And that was brilliant acting. It was so in character and it was fucking brilliant. Autumn's here. I can feel the stench of damp, rotten leaves. I love it.